What exactly is a bog filter? Bog filters can come in many different shapes, sizes and designs. So today I want to try and explain what they are and how they work and why I think they're one of the best pond filters for any style of pond. G'day, my name is Kev. The aim of my channel and website is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, you might like to subscribe and check out my website ozponds.com. A bog filter is essentially a pond filter that moves water through rock, pebble and plant roots to filter. We call it a bog or a wetland because it's recreating the way nature filters water. Wetlands, bogs and swamps are incredible natural water filters. They're also incredibly diverse and teeming with life. A simple bog filter looks something like this. Water is pumped into the bottom of a container or separate pond. The pond or container is filled with rock and pebble and the water flows up through it. Once the water fills the container or the pond, it spills back over into the main pond and round and round it goes. There's lots of different ways to build a bog filter and I'll link a playlist to some of my designs in the video description if you want to take a look. You can modify my designs to suit your needs, but there's three things that I think are really important to the success of any type of bog filter. Number one is the proper size. If you undersize the filter, you won't get the water quality and clarity you were probably hoping for. Number two is the flow rate. A bog filter works best with a slow and steady flow. And number three is having an easy way to clean the filter. Over time sediments will build up inside the bog and they'll need to be removed. I'll also link a video titled Designing a Bog Filter that will go into more detail on how to size the bog, the flow rates and making sure it's easy to clean. For anyone that's interested I also have a downloadable PDF on my website that has a bunch of the formulas I use when designing my ponds. Uh, I'll link that down as well. When you design a bog filter correctly, the water quality and clarity is quite impressive. At least I think it is for a natural body of water. So I sort of touched on how they work by replicating nature, but what exactly is going on inside the bog? The rock and the pebbles are colonised by bacteria. These bacteria are responsible for consuming or converting various types of nitrogen that are present in the water. Everything that falls into the pond begins to break down and this releases nitrogen in the form of ammonia. Fish and other living creatures inside the pond will also produce ammonia. The bacteria that process the nitrogen are probably the most important part of a healthy pond. One of the advantages that I think a bog has over other filters is that it has so much surface area available for the bacteria. At the end of the day, all the bacteria need are wet surface areas to live on. Because a bog filter is much bigger than more traditional filters, it allows way more bacteria to be present. The slow flow through the filter allows the bacteria more time to work their magic, but it also allows the filter to contain different oxygen zones. Most traditional filters will focus on moving oxygen-rich water through the filter, and this is very effective at converting ammonia into nitrite and then nitrate, but the nitrate remains. In low oxygen zones, nitrate can be converted into a gas and it will leave the water column at the first opportunity. A bog filter also contains plants. Plants can also consume nitrogen and remove it from the water. Basically, a bog filter has tons of diversity. Bacteria diversity, organism diversity, oxygen zone diversity, and plant diversity. In my opinion, that makes it a much more dependable and stable filter for your pond. <laughs> I could talk about bog filters all day, but I suspect most people have already fallen asleep. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out those videos I've linked in the description, as well as the downloadable PDF. Thanks for watching. See ya.